Welcome back to East Asia Super League fans to Full Court Press, your source for the top basketball headlines this side of the Pacific. I'm your host, Boom Gonzalez, reporting from Singapore. Come with me and I'll fill you in on the top hoops headlines. Ginebra put TNT Tropangiga away in just five games. And aside from a Game 3 blowout when Troy Rosario's dominating presence gave TNT some signs of life, Ginebra proved once again that defense wins championships. That and a dominant front line led by Japet Aguilar and Joe DeVance. The Iron Man, L.A. Tenorio, was named the Finals MVP. What a conference for him as he clinched his first All-Filipino title and his active game streak is now at 663 games. Given their finals dominance, we caught up with the daredevil himself, Jared Dillinger, to discuss if this is the best team he's ever been a part of. Man, what a ride it was. What a ride. I think this is going to be by far one of the most memorable experiences I had out of my whole entire career, just in, in the sense of just given the situation of, of the pandemic and all the uncertainty of whether we're going to have a season or not. And it was special. It was really special. Um, you know, before the season even started, we were so unsure of where our team was going to be in the first place we were still able to get these wins under our belts in those first couple games. And I think that's what really set the tone. Every championship that you win, you're gonna have memories that, sh that you won't forget. But this one, I'll probably hold a little bit more closely to my heart, just given how close we bonded as a team during this bubble and something that we've never experienced before, uh, playing basketball the way we did inside um, our PBA bubble. Um, until next time, PBA fans, Cal Bar Guy fans, East Asia Super League fans, it's been swell. It's been real. I miss you guys, but um, I need to play with my dogs now. Take care. Ingat. We ingat so much, you guys. Finally, the PBA announced that the 2021 PBA draft will be on March 14, and next season will begin April 9. Heading over to Japan and the B-League. In the East, top-ranked Utsunomiya suffered a surprise 87-73 loss to Shiga Lake Stars, dropping to a 17-4 record, while the Chiba Jets went to the top with an 86-75 win over Kyoto, improving to a league-best 18-3. In the West, Ryuku split their series with Osaka, leaving them at 15-6, while Mikawa had two thumping wins over Niigata, outscoring their opponents by a combined 53 points to go to 16-5 on the season. Elsewhere, 30 Ravenna returned to the court after a two-week absence. His comeback coincided with his team snapping an eight-game skid as they picked up back-to-back -back wins over Hokkaido this past weekend, improving to 4-17 and for the season. Off the court, the league signed a supporting company agreement with Otsuka Pharmaceutical. A grateful Shinji Shimada, the league's chairman, said he had high confidence in the deal, which will focus on the club's community programs and healthcare. Over in the CBA bubble, the Liaoning Leopards remain the top-ranked team. But are they flattering to deceive? The Leopards have a 15-2 record, but haven't really been tested all year. Their only wins against top five teams came early in the season against Shandong and Xinjiang, when those teams didn't have foreign imports. Now, recently, Liaoning lost to those very same clubs when their imports joined. With 14-2 records, the Zhejiang Golden Bulls and the Guangdong sit in second and third place respectively, but also only have one win against the top five team. The team to watch may be Xinjiang, with the Tigers flying a little under the radar. Wins against several top teams should make the rest of the league sit up and take notice, especially as they've been doing it with their only import, Donatas Mahihunas, who is playing lights out. Xinjiang also just got 2019's most improved player back in their lineup. Abudu Shalamu, 
returns Sunday, playing limited minutes. Now, he's coming off an ACL tear, but is the heart and soul of this team. Now, let us know your CBA power rankings in the comments down below. Back in Korea, Anyang KGC and Busan KT have been on a roll. KGC is on a winning streak and have climbed from 6th this time last month to 1st overall. But watch out for Busan KT Sonic Boom. They have been on a major win streak and are looking unstoppable, especially from 3-point range. Now in their last game, last weekend, they hit 14 threes. Yang Hong Siok and Brandon Brown didn't miss from behind the arc. And lastly, congratulations to Ra Gunna of the Jeonju KCC who scored his 8,000th career point in the game against Anyang KGC on December 13th. Now, he is only the 8th player in history of the KBL to reach this milestone. Now, let's take a look at the top teams from around the region. The Xinjiang Flying Tigers close the gap in the CBA. The Chiba Jets and Seahorses Nikawa take the lead in their respective divisions. First place is also up for grabs in the KBL. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to join us next time for more EASL Full Court Press. I'm your host, Boom Gonzalez from Singapore, and I'm signing off. Stay safe, stay healthy, and happy holidays.